Hey, welcome back to episode 74 of Whose Line Is It? No. Yeah, restart that. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had something. I didn't have something. So, hi, um, internets. Uh, we're going to go to a show today. Uh, back at it again. <laughs> uh, look look outside. It's, it's great out. <laughs> It's a uh, it's a wonderful uh, winter wonderland. Thank you, Pen Dog, for the perfect fucking plow job. <laughs> plow job. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna go see Harm's Way and Hate Eternal and uh, Coma and Cannibal Corpse. Uh, why? Why not? <laughs> Only reason he's going is because Harm's Way is opening, and that's that was enough to sell him. He, <laughs> I'm easy. <laughs> so far, he can't stand Cannibal Corpse yet. So I tried all day listening to just <laughs> a bunch of like their music videos and stuff, and everyone I was just like, I don't care. I was just telling him a second ago that it seems that a lot of bands that we go to see that he's not too familiar with, or that he just doesn't like on recording with like the the album versions of the songs and stuff, he like goes crazy for them live, <laughs> and he he enjoys watching them play live but he can't stand listening to them just sitting there listening to the record after so. the burial is the biggest example we've seen them twice in the last like year and a half i fucking think they're great live but i turn their shit off in five seconds at home yeah <laughs> he did that with the case here for a while too didn't you like <sighs> no. we, we went to see them like three times and each time you're like oh yeah i just started listening to them again because we're going to see them yeah like i can't <laughs> like i absolutely adore them but like there's just something where i can't sit down and just listen to more than like one or two I just, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm weird when it comes to music, man. Like, I was just like, oh, I love these guys. Then I turn it on, I'm like, meh. <laughs> yeah. Fucking who knows. Ugh. So we're doing light bulbs right now. We're changing light bulbs, making t-shirt money. Uh, I just climbed a, a 15 foot ladder in ice. Yeah. <laughs> it's been, it's been interesting. Yeah, he came over <laughs> a little early because my mom needed help with uh, replacing two light bulbs that are super high up. Um, one is on the peak of our garage that's like 25 feet tall. Maybe higher than that. I don't even know, it's actually. It's at least 25. And, it's really um, up there. The other one's on like the peak of the, the side of the house. That one's like and 17? Yeah, maybe, if even that. But she needed somebody tall who could reach them, and nobody else that we know that we're close with is as tall as Thag over here. So. <laughs> yeah. I got a caveman it up later today. Yeah, he's... Uh, if you guys watched the last video, he deemed himself the caveman known as Thag. At least when we're driving. I, yeah. <laughs> when we got to the show, I was, I was something. I don't know what it was. But. <laughs> oh, so, man. yeah, that's uh, that happened. <laughs> but, yeah, we're doing this real quick. We're running out to Evansburg for a few minutes to switch out these light bulbs and go back and throw them back into place and probably leave after that or sometime soon afterwards uh i still have like half of my stuff to get ready because uh, he showed up earlier and i thought he was going to so <laughs> fucking uh oh did you see mark Plyer put up a new try not to laugh did he oh my god yeah, it's good it's we need to you know what if, i was gonna say if you have if you didn't see it yet we ought to make a video reacting to it me but. and brett competed at uh with it this morning uh i won for that's the first time in a do. while that's maybe tomorrow like if you're if you're not doing anything, because I'm off tomorrow too. Seven to we two. Could, we could come up, or you could come up, and uh, we, like I, we, we could do it in reverse, like we do. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Like, Since I already know which one it, it is, yeah. And I'll react to okay. it and okay. see okay. if I okay. bust on there it. There we go. Not. It was, it so. was good. Like, there was a few that I probably should have. Oh, what the shit are you doing? There's a few that I should have laughed at, but I just, I don't know. I was determined, and uh, I beat that one. Yeah. Um, but. <laughs> But then we rewatched the one clip and I was just like, Jesus Christ, this is too good. <laughs> About uh, 30 seconds ago, we almost got hit by a plow truck. Yeah, he just so, pulled yeah. into the wrong side of the road. So that's that's cute. We're going this way and he was going this way. So whatever. <laughs> so we're going to go to Tractor Supply and fuck around. And then if they don't have the shit we need, we're going to go to Walmart and fuck around. And if they don't have it, then we're just going to put regular light bulbs into it and see what happens. Yeah, we got time. We can go to Home Depot if you want. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, well, if doors aren't at seven, we we could probably leave like to get to the show at four thirty. Yeah, like, another sundown leaving. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, this one's gonna be pitch black. Well, fucking Corpus doesn't play till ten fifteen. Yeah, but Harm's well, Harm's Way is the second band because there's an opener too, so we got time even if we don't get in there by the time. No, I'm just saying like we're not gonna get home tonight till like three. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those. 
Cannibal not, Corpse has a long fucking set. That's what I'm set, saying. Too. They have an hour like, and a half. They're starting at 10, 15. We're not, no, we're not leaving until 12. Hate Eternals probably got at least 45 minutes. This guy was looking at their, their set list last night, and I was like going through the songs. Yeah. Half of them are over five minutes. Oh. So, And they have like 12 songs or something like that. So. Oh, boy. I've wanted to see Hate Eternal for so friggin' long. Like, I... For the longest time, I neglected them. Like I didn't, I didn't look into them very much because a friend of mine that I used to be in a project with, like worshipped them for a while, and I was like, yeah, you know, I'll check them out at some point. <laughs> and uh, but then, like a year and a half ago or so, I just like really sat down and listened to them, and holy shit, like they blew my mind. And ever since then, um, ever since I heard the I Monarch album, like holy shit. I've wanted to see them for so long, and they're finally coming back. And fun fact about them, if you guys don't know much about Hate Eternal, their vocalist used to be a guitar player in Morbid Angel, who is also one of my top five favorite death metal bands. So, Eric Rutan is, is oh, a monster. Fuck this up. But we're here at Tractor Supply now, so I doubt they would let us <laughs> fuck around with the camera inside the store. So I mean, they would at least will, ask a bunch of questions. So. At least, yeah. So <laughs> we will get back to you soon. We found the light bulbs. <laughs> Tractor supply didn't have it, so. <laughs> the lady that was running the counter was fucking useless. <laughs> yeah, she didn't seem like she had any clue what she was talking about. But um, we went to Walmart and found pretty much what looks identical to the light. So we hope that it's the right thing, but we were told that it is, so. <laughs> this is the part where, you get, where I get to play on the ladder in the snow again. So that's, yeah. that's like my favorite part. <laughs> After yeah. I get some gasolines. <laughs> Touch as fuck canceled. <laughs> your, your camera wants to touch me? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> the touch screen autofocus turned off. And I was going to call you. <laughs> I was sitting there like, what, what do you want, you faggot camera? Like, <laughs> I think I'm going to like edit that and like put like a caption like across like where it came up on the screen so they know <laughs> what you're fucking, talking about. It fucking confused me. <laughs> yeah, it, dis it displayed a, it displayed a, <laughs> it displayed a warning on the camera lens that said touch AF cancelled and that's what we made out of it. So. <laughs> it's fucking, man, I still wish we would have caught pa uh, Pantera bread on camera. Oh my god. That was like the best one. I didn't even have this camera back then when we did that show. <laughs> that was the best one though. Like, yeah. it came out of nowhere just because we were lost. So, story time. We were going to State College to see every time I die, harm's way in eternal sleep. And we got lost. Well, not lost. Uh, we were going around the block over and over again trying to find a parking space. Because, like, the town is just busy because it's a fucking college town. And we're going around, and I saw Panera Bread for like the fifth time. I was like, man, we should just stop at Pantera Bread. And for whatever reason, it was one of those moments where we just laughed for 20 minutes. Yeah. And I was just like, man, I could just see an employee's just pissed off, and it's a vulgar display of flour. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, yeah, we don't, 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 faggot. Sorry, some people, some people don't know how to fucking drive. You just turned around on a fucking exit. Yeah. Fucking idiot. But yeah, that was one of those Jim and Andrew stories that like make literally no sense unless you were there. <laughs> it was so funny for no reason so, other than I called it Pantera bread. Yeah, the, <laughs> the vulgar display of flour thing just killed oh, me yeah, that, that day. Was... Like, because he just like fucking yelled it. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> had the window had the, down. That's right. Yeah, we had the window <laughs> down, and he just went vulgar display of flour <laughs> right out the window. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I practically pissed myself. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, hey, a sheet strip. Yeah, buddy. I got. I'm gonna put seventeen dollars in gas in the car. Hmm. This guy, I'll wait for. It. He was. He was turning first. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna get some gas O line, and then we will. Uh, we will talk to you guys whenever I'm playing on ladders. Yeah, I might film some of that just for shits and giggles. <laughs> it's up there. So we have. Uh, <laughs> so we have some footage if he decides, <laughs> doesn't like, make it. If he doesn't make it. <laughs> Oh, have like his death on camera. <laughs> just, hey, look, I'm changing a light splat. <laughs> splat. <laughs> I just heard it beep at me. That was me. Oh. That was the camera. <laughs> well, it's in. Do you want to be in the video? No, I don't want to okay. be in the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. My mom's me. out here too, so. Well, that one's in. We're putting the light bulbs in. No, I don't care. Put me in the video. <laughs> I'm going above your head. Say, I love this man. <laughs> He's moving in. <laughs> Brittany, kids and all. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you love it here and you know it. I'm bring it, Brett. <laughs> oh. 
Scarlet. I'll bring Scarlet. Bring Scarlet, huh? That carry ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Tables, ladders, and chairs match. Let's go. <laughs> That's one of the best Yeah. Let me go on the other side and hold that ladder. No! Yes! Okay. Let me get over there so it doesn't slide. Yeah. Because my mom crushes herself going underneath the ladder. Where's my boob? Boob. You're a box. Yeah, we gotta put it in that thing up there. Jesus. I wanna see George! Hold on, I'm not saying, right? I wanna go see Jorge. Oh, yeah, Jorge. Me and George, we're buddies. George. Yeah. Ugh. He didn't like George at first because he doesn't like, like the world. I love George for what he does, but I don't like George because he's from Baltimore Ravens and they can kiss my royal golden <laughs> ass. <laughs> yeah, we're Steelers fans out here in this country. Well, you know, like... But I love George. You know all those neck jokes that have been going around because of that black Oh, guy? yeah. Fucking George is the same shit. I know. He's that, that mugshot of that black guy. It looks like a black George. Watch yourself. I'm going to punch icicles. That was close. I like Cannibal Corpse, and I, I do adore George. Ah! Why are you doing that? I'm not. I mean, it. Why is it doing that? Because that's how it lights up. But it's not dark. I mean, it's kind of dark. Is the... the, the you got to twist it more? The um, sensor up on top? Maybe the sensor's covered with the snow? Nope. Well, no, it says that these take a while to warm up. I know, but it's not dark enough. Maybe if you get up there and knock the knock the snow off the sensor uh, off the top, because the the sensor. Oh, it's blue. Oh, that's yellow. Oh, it's blue. Oh, it's yellow. I don't want it. All right, I'll try. Where are you? Just don't, here. Just don't fall and break your neck. Okay. Well, my pants fall down. Oh, he'll land in the truck anyway, so he won't <laughs> go very far. Fucking truck. Oh, that's solid ice on top. There's no way. It's it's just a it's like a huge solid chunk. That's, that's not going anywhere. Be, it's got a bad sensor. Yes, it does. Huh? Yes, it does. No, no. Because the other one's not doing that. It's just this one. The other one does the same thing though. Well, no, it it's cur it's not doing it right now. It's not lit at all. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like when I plugged it in, it did not. This one. What do I do? Wait. <laughs> well, let's see if what it does as it sits there and charges. It says these take time to charge. But it, it shouldn't be charging at all. I mean, it shouldn't be. Well, it's not lit. What it is is that's a little pocket that um, it heats up, and then whenever the bulb itself needs to light up, it kicks on the other filament. But it shouldn't be doing that at all, right? No, it sh I think it should. From the way that I read that. Did you say it should or should? It, it, should. it should. Yes. But the other one didn't. Well, it's just a new lighting thing. That's what makes it's what keeps them lit up faster later on. Is there anything that I can get that you can knock that snow off the clock? Uh, it's a solid I chunk of ice. I'm going to climb up there and try and smack at it because I don't want to sit there and swing on stuff while I'm on the ladder. Give me a, if you can give me a broom or something, I can reach with you. Yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. All right. All right, I'll get a broom. I'll fuck around with that. I don't care. Actually, there, there's a broom right inside, right inside the door. Oh, yeah. Here, hold this bag. I'm going to smack it. It's going to fall or it's going to like... Oh, God, I don't want this. I wanted it to be done and over. I'm going to cry. Me too. It's cold out here. Dog's, Next door. Dog's not happy. I figured that. There's a small little one there. There's a great big one over there. Uh, Looking for something to <laughs> knock the ice off that light now. Smack! Hey, a broom. <laughs> I'll be careful. Never! Stay out of there. <laughs> Hot damn. Lovely. Oh, 
Hey. If it doesn't, then yes, there's something bad inside the actual. Oh, oh maybe. Oh. That's not the filming yet. That's still that starter. You hear it going. Mm. Yeah. It's going. Mm. <laughs> 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 the cocoon goes just like. Super it's lit. Let there be light. No, it's not lit yet. That's still just the starter. It's gonna turn orange when it's done. There it goes. Now it's like. They said oh. it takes a while to warm up. Yeah. Oh. There it goes. That's the filament. Hey. -o. Why? It's not dark enough for it to be. It's daylight well, there's, out here. There's no sun out. Yeah. It's overcast. Well, then I wonder if the other one went out. I don't know. Oh. See, it went look out. at that. It, it went through its cycle, and it started up, and the sensor said, "Turn the hell off." Yeah. There we go. Problem solved. Is that what it said in the box? Yeah, there's security lights. Yeah. Oh, wait. Let me help it. No. Stop. It is cold as a some bitch out here today. Hot damn! I work out in this shit every day too, and somehow I am not used to it today. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm not covered it's not in. A work day. No, because I'm not covered in my thermal shit that I usually am. Probably. Listen, you know it's cold when I'm wearing pants. You know I was gonna say. I'm wearing yeah. fucking jeans. That's a never thing. I'm gonna go see what the other light looks like and see if it. Yay, Andrew's getting fun shirt. tickets. <laughs> I was not doing anything. What the fuck? Yeah, that Is there light. a switch? No. No? <laughs> Look at your mom's peaky spots. Yeah. Go fucking bet up. <laughs> <laughs> peaky spots. <laughs> I think she forgot that there's four wheel drive in the truck. gas and break really hard. Holy hell. <laughs> Wrong screen, wrong screen. <laughs> well, we are well on our way, finally. Now we got the light bulbs in. <laughs> Hopefully they stay working and they work the way that they're supposed to, but that remains to be seen. It's fun either way. <laughs> yeah, the one got some funny footage at least. Andrew on a fucking ladder. <laughs> With a broom With smacking a, broom a light. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, the person that I knew that I talked to at Walmart and we went and found them there um, she said that it was the exact same kind uh, but my mom's worried about it being not a dust to dawn bulb but I don't think that has anything to do with it like I told her I think that the sense there's a sensor that is dust to dawn in the light fixture itself but I mean I don't know they, the one fired up and went through its initial cycle and it seemed like it's gonna work. The other one didn't do anything yet, so. <laughs> That's when you back will know. <laughs> yeah, so that was that was a fun little excursion. But we're on our way to Pittsburgh now to Mr. Smalls for Cannibal Corpse, Hate Eternal, and Harm's Way. And uh, some local opener that I don't know of. Coma? I've never, I've never listened to Coma before. I heard about them, I forgot to check them out, and there we go, so. Yeah, but the I... last time I did that, when there was a random opener for White Chapel, they were actually like super friggin' dirty. So yeah, there's sometimes you're just pleasantly surprised. Hold on a second, I gotta open we this. Well, that did nothing. Um, <laughs> sometimes the the openers do surprise you and shit. Like, well, that fucking that tour I went to like three days after that show where uh, Ira came up from DC. Jesus Christ, like. Yeah, I was working that day or I probably would have gone to that. Too. That was a hell of a 20 minutes. Like, <laughs> I didn't care about anybody else there, but like, I knocked I knocked the dudes that we both know over a table and yeah. had a good old time and peed off a porch. Like, it was, it was great. Ah! So I'm tired, camera. I uh, work in retail at two different stores for Black Friday. I'm fucking beat. <laughs> and I just got off working seven days in a row, including. Thanksgiving and Black Friday, and I had one day off, worked yesterday, and now I'm off again today, so I'm fucking beat myself. Yeah, and uh, then <laughs> we realized that we're going to the show, and the headliner starts at 10.15, so they're going to be done at like 11.45, and then get in the car, start leaving by 12, 
Get home by two. I have to get up for work at five. <laughs> Oops. <Yep. laughs> Guess who's gonna have fun packing shipments at Macy's tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> Them, because I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, man, you gotta call off for that shit. I, w I would not go to work after a show like that that early. I mean, I've worked after shows before. Yeah, like but if it was, it was never... at like nine or something, whatever, but it's literally like I'll sleep for two hours. Yeah, like I've, I've, I usually work two to 11. Um, two in the afternoon and 11 at night I'm, is usually my, my scheduled shift. So I'm usually good after a show to go as long as my stomach doesn't have a stroke like it usually <laughs> does. But, um, you know, something like that I don't mind at all but when it comes to working at six o'clock in the morning after a show like this fuck that I, I mean, fuck every ounce of that. <laughs> I've like, unloaded trucks after shows but like we've gotten home at one and I didn't have to be there till eight like I mean it's that's still not too bad it's, it's still, still bad but it's not two hours yeah like, yeah this one should be fun uh, second travel vlog second concert vlog uh, if you guys enjoyed the first one we did we're gonna try to um, replicate the, the old <laughs> video we just did last last week or two weeks ago whenever it was. And even if you don't like it, we do like it, so fuck it, yeah, we're I mean, make it anyway. <laughs> I don't expect any of these videos to go anywhere because my channel has been long since killed off like two years ago and I'm just doing it because we like to fuck around on camera and uh i mean there's like 10 people that watch it that always like it there's like no it's just yeah, kind of fun yeah there's like a handful of people that watch this that, that we personally know that get a kick out of it so so yeah hi yeah. personal people yeah <laughs> our inner circle yeah. the ones that are just like that andrew's a fucking goon on camera man i gotta watch <laughs> this video <laughs> where are we at pittsburgh city flow oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fag, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, random updates. Our next show we're going to in December is Turnstile and Every Time I Die. Whoop, whoop. Yep. That's December. December 12th. Uh, same venue. <clears throat> and uh, Vane is opening that show. So yeah, it's going to start off ridiculously. It's a banger. Yeah. And then, as far as I know, there's nothing in January or February yet. Yeah, like, I think we're just going to take a couple months off from shows, uh, January, February. Maybe something in March, if uh, if something comes by, that, <laughs> that we're both, oh, he's going to March. I'm probably not, because fuck that venue. You need to but, go. Um, yeah. <laughs> you need to see Black Mask. That's the only reason I'm interested. In Urukanji is fucking exactly your style, too, though. Black Mask, Urukanji... And 156 silence. That's what I mean. It's like, like it's, it's a local show. The bill's stacked. And it's but, ten bucks. Like and it's ten bucks. It's not too far from here. It's in Butler, March 30th. But that venue, man. Like I've seen videos of that place. I've never been there. It's literally like a crowd kill basement. And I'm like, I'm not about that shit. Like I don't want to get smacked in the face for standing <laughs> there watching a the show. Like something like that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even try to get in the pit for because it's too. Too small, not enough room, and I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to get smacked in the face uh, or something see, like, like that. Man, like, I uh, got smacked in the face once by accident in a Parkway Drive show at the biggest venue we have in Pittsburgh, and I almost broke my nose by accident. So well, that's because it was like a downswing attack. Oh yeah, but still, I mean, I don't want some, I don't want to get you know Roundhouse kicked in the suit. <laughs> It'd probably and, be me though. Yeah, like <laughs> I don't know about that one, man. I'll have to see what's going on. I'm there. excited. But April. What was it, April 12th? We just found out today. Hate breed and obituary, terror, chrome mags, and fit for an autopsy are coming to stage AE. That one I'm probably gonna do. Yeah. That's a good ways away. It's the middle of April. We got plenty of time to plan that out and see what things are gonna see what's gonna happen for that. Looks pretty good. That might end up being the next one that I go to after December because there's really nothing in January, February, or March announced yet that I'm really interested in. We'll, so. have, to, we'll have to do some search and see and fun. Plus, I'm beat. Like, we've been we've been doing so many shows lately, <laughs> and I've been working so damn much, and my body is wrecked. Like, I'm just fucked up. Oh, uh, my body's and, ready. <laughs> like, yeah. I might take it a little easier at this show than I usually do, just because I'm so beat up from this past couple of weeks. That's fair. But, um, because like I said, I just did, we did the Obey the Brave show that we did the last vlog like this for. The next day I went to Reading for suffocation and cattle decapitation, drove home the next day, and immediately started working seven days in a row, including the holiday. 
and was off one day. So, like, I'm pretty fucked up right now as far as my body goes. Um, so yeah, I might not, I might not throw down very much at all tonight. One song by Harm's Way, I know I am probably going to get in the pit for, but other than that, I'm uh, sure there'll be Instagram videos of my ass doing something fucking stupid. Probably, <laughs> most likely. It seems to be another trend that at least one song, I'm always the asshole in the front row. Yeah. <laughs> Super Jesus, Jesus. Little Jesus, Jesus. Big Jesus, Jesus. Oh, somebody's Jesus. Andrew's reaction to the bright light. <laughs> it's, it's a Jesus light. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're 20 minutes away from the show, and we're parked five feet from the venue. When? Um... We walked the subway in the cold and I almost fell twice. Lose. Uh, I got the subway Wi-Fi and I ate a bag of cheddar fries. Not bad. Um, the subway employees say fuck to each other a lot. That was a thing. Now we're kind of here and we found an old sound recording of me sneezing like a fucking text message. So. <laughs> I was gonna stop laughing before I started recording, but I started laughing again. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm just a big fan of you. I'd like to say that. <laughs> <laughs> not a bad, uh, not a bad couple of minutes there, because yeah. the night was looking a little hairy there for a bit, but mm -hmm. now we're doing all right. So we're gonna give everybody the old uh, updateo. What the shit? Yeah, that guy's close. I'm sitting outside the venue. Yeah, it's got my, here. Got my uh, phone set up as the lighting source again, like we did last time. Because yeah. it's pitch black out here right now. And it's what, 5 or no, 640, Six right? Something, 641, yeah. yeah. So we're just kind of decking around, fucking waiting for. I don't know. Doors we were going to go up there and stand and wait to get in, but then once we walked back from Subway that was about three blocks away, we said, fuck that. <laughs> So. Yeah, uh, well, there was my friend came down to the show and she uh, she was here early enough that so she's standing inside the doorway. Cause I guess like the first hallway they're letting people stand in, but it's already filled up. That's coming down the stairs, so now we're we're not gonna stand outside, and that's that's no, just not happening. Not a good idea. It's it's like 18 degrees. Yeah, it's. I would check, but my phone doesn't work unless I can steal Subway's Wi-Fi again. <laughs> just drive three blocks down. It's like that's something. <laughs> yep. Oh man. There's a tour bus there. I wonder whose bus that is. I don't know. I wouldn't say anything on it, but I, I understand that they just rent these buses and whatnot. Most of the bands are like this don't own their buses, but like, I wish they did because then they would say things on them. Yeah. You know, but I guess they don't do that too, so that people don't go, oh look, that's well, this some, and this is some bus. bands do. Like the, the the one I did see that had. Uh, their logo and stuff on it was asking Alexandria years ago. Like they like had their entire logo, like the whole, the whole side, side of the bus was their logo. I feel like that's the point and, where they uh, were huge though, yeah. like with everyone, not just like. Chelsea Grin does it too. Like the, I think they have their own bus, like they have their logo and stuff on it. I didn't see it down at um, Rex, but it's very possible that yeah. theirs was the one that was parked in the back. They had one, It I think it was Warped this year, or it might have been a couple years ago, where they had their uh, logo and stuff on it. But I don't know, I can't remember. I'm trying to think if I've ever seen one that did. And I, I feel like I have, but I can't think of who. We passed Suffocation's bus and we were going to Reading. And me and my other friends were going out there. We passed them on the way to the venue. The only reason we realized it was them is because later that night we ended up on the bus with them. <laughs> so, yeah, we that were hanging out and stuff. That was a pretty cool night. That's a way to find out. Yeah, because it had uh, New Jersey plates on it, and they're from New York. So I guess the bus company Just came from, it from there. Yeah, it came from Jersey. Or they have that one, and they'll return it to wherever. Yeah. Jesus, fucking, what the shit balls? <laughs> that dude's fucking truck was lifted up higher than my nuts when it's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to say something stupid. It's just a matter of time. Higher than the giraffe's ass. Dude, is <laughs> that's like, I feel like that's the kind of thing where like, I'm like, oh, look how tall I am. I can reach this giraffe's ass. But then it would like shit on my head. I don't know why I'm thinking about giraffe's asses and shit, but. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm, no, no, I don't know. <laughs> I almost said something silly there too. Yeah. Fucking, oh my God. I hate waiting. Yeah. For anything. We both had like this 
unbelievable yawn fit over the last <laughs> like <laughs> hour or so. It's been forever. Like we just one of us yawns and then the other one yawns and then the other person yawns and then one of us yawns and it's just a bunch of yawning bullshit. <laughs> And each time one of us says something about why we can't stop yawning. <laughs> <laughs> just doesn't want to fucking stop. Like, I feel no, like I don't get it. How big is the line now? Still not very big. Is this show not going to go, like, be very big tonight? That would be weird. They, they won't show up until probably the third band, honestly. That's like that's right. I, that happens a lot out here. Like, yeah. Harm's Way might have maybe 50 people. And then people are here by, for... Haiti, by the time Hate Eternal comes on, it'll probably be three quarters filled and by the time Cannibal Corpse comes on you won't be able to move yeah so. cause like coma it'll be empty and then Harms will have some that's fair yeah. I forgot that people do that shit like yeah. that's how it is at the fucking Rex too like yeah. uh, what was it I don't remember who it was the, when we went to go see uh, that was one we went to see after the burial yeah that one. opener the opener the place was empty and then for after the burial the place is fucking empty yeah like the most the most people were there for the Acacia Strain playing uh, Continent front to back. And as soon as that was over, half the crowd left. It was ridiculous. And How many people left after the burial, it? played Rare Form in full, which you think you would think that'd be a bigger draw than than Acacia Strain, but I guess not. Um, it was good. Yeah, it was good. I mean, I'm not like we were saying earlier. I don't listen to them on a CD. Like it's not for me. But live, they are pretty good. Yeah. Pretty. Okay, what do we got going on here? Shiny lights, bouncy car. <laughs> I don't have any material. I'm tired. I don't want to work tomorrow. Like I already know what I want to do three days from now. Like I'm yeah. just like I'm fucking <laughs> sad in all the wrong places right now. Bouncy lights. They, they, like, <laughs> he came over the lip of the thing. And he was just like, look at my lights. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. What the is he doing? Doesn't he know how to go straight in the road? Come on, boss. There you go. The Thunder Skulls. Platin Bow. On December 2nd. I want to go see Plat Oliver Francis. Oh, that's my dude. <laughs> Nothing will beat when we were at the Rex and we looked up and saw there was a band called Leftover Salmon. Oh, dude. Coming to the next day. <laughs> I want to go see Leftover Salmon so bad. I think that was the the ATB show. Too. It was. It was. It was. <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I was like, Jesus, I'm gonna get leftover it. salmon. <laughs> <laughs> That's such of a good name. Of all things, I, I don't even know what kind of band they are. Like, I didn't even look. Oh, at them. they're probably um, like folk or something like that. They were. They were like. I think. It was, uh, what did the description say? Post ska or something like that. Like it was fucking stupid. Post like, ska. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Like it was. I read it. and I was like, what? Why? <laughs> this is a thing. So if there was a post, was there a pre-ska? Uh, yes. What, it, I don't, I don't know what it would be, though. That's... I guess music that was made before ska. <laughs> Everything? <laughs> <laughs> That's a stupid name for a genre, too. Post ska. whatever? No, ska in uh, general. Yeah, ska's a pretty silly like, name. Like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's almost as bad as that one band. Their, their name's Chunk No Captain Chunk. <laughs> And apparently that's a reference from like some movie or something. I don't know if it was like the Goonies or what the fuck it was called. But, but it's so weird because it's just like, just make up your mind on what you're saying. No. Yeah. Like, I guess I get it. It's just like, oh, Chunk. No, it's Captain. But then it, should, it should say it's. Yeah. Captain. Or just Captain Chunk instead of like the entire The whole sentence. phrase. Like I get yeah. that if they're trying to be ironic, but it also needs to like, I don't know, have some more context to it. Yeah. I, the, to the casual, you're just like, what? I don't. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Their name actually like drove me away from them for a while because like I wouldn't. I just refused to look them up because I thought they were going to be stupid. But they're actually a pretty decent band. There's a song I know by them. I don't know what it's called, and I can't look it up either. But there was one that I was kind of like, huh? This isn't what I expected of a band with a name this dumb. Goblin. There's a band called Goblin. Yeah. What do they do? I'm not sure. I've heard the name though. I want to know what they do. Why is this place called the Fun House? It's a church. There's nothing fun about churches. Yeah. I don't know if the people who watch this are from this area, so... Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, friend. This is like the calmest I've been on a fucking video ever. Yeah. I don't... I'm just... Who's that guy? 
It's because he's back on his meds. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I'm, that's what the I'm last, happy. The last time he was off his meds, that's why he was all over the place in the last video. Normally I'm just but, mad, but like I was fucking floating that day. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> No, I'm just, I, I literally think I'm just tired from the way that work's been going. Like, yeah. I'm just, I'm here. <laughs> it's, yeah. just, it's where we're at right now. All right, well, we'll probably check in again after the show's over and we'll, once we get back on the road like we did uh, the last time. Because right last now, I don't, I don't have anything to say. And yeah, we kind of ran out of things to talk about <laughs> and things to goof off with, so. It's been a weird day. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll we'll come back. I, I Yeah. Probably. So we left the show, it lasted until about midnight, surprisingly, because Cannibal Corpse hadn't gone until almost 10.30. And uh, it was pretty wild. It was, it was a show. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's not too fond of Cannibal Corpse quite yet. I, I don't mind the band, I just don't like their singer. He's like, oh man, he just rubs me all the wrong way. <laughs> Uh, I wish I would have had the camera gone a little bit again. You should have heard. I knew every vocal pattern he's ever sang. <laughs> I don't remember how I did it. <laughs> I don't remember either. It was funny. It's, uh, the sad thing is, I think I'm fucking right there. Yeah. You kind of <laughs> hit, it, hit it right on the head, honestly. But, uh, oh, man. man. I'm just tired, and I know he's going to work tomorrow. Yeah, he has to go to work at 6 in the morning. Yay! I still say you should call off. Uh, I wish. You could. Yeah. Maybe I will. Do it. Do it. <laughs> the fucking Emperor Palpatine shit. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> like right now, I just, I literally just like. You sound like that crazy frog thing from like 15 years ago. Have you seen any of the Shrek movies? Yeah, some of them. The fucking last one, there's this fucking fat little ship with lollipop. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> Do the run. <roar>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was identical. <laughs> right? I do it all the time because fucking Scarlet loves the movie now, so I'll do it. She looks at me like, you're that kid's voice. And then, like, <laughs> the one day I was that staring was at her. Perfect. And I was trying to get her to do it, and I was just like, I love you, Daddy. <laughs> she won't say it though. Like, like she'll say it, but she won't say it in a funny way. So I just wanted to say it so bad. That's all I want. Do, do the wrong. Do, do the right. <laughs> <laughs> That's like an accurate representation of like when people back when I was in high school, when people found out that I was a vocalist and stuff like that. People yeah, right. would always be like, "Do it." Like now, <laughs> like, like just realize, to pull a high scream out of your ass. You know what I mean? So that's not like, really how it works. That's, that's like not how. It, yeah, can, like. that's that's not how. That's not how. You, that's not how it works for me, at least. I have to at least to to do a proper high scream, for example, or anything properly at this point, because I'm so out of practice. It's not even funny. I have to be like completely warmed up and like going at it for at least like ten or fifteen minutes. You know what I mean? But. Oh, I think I remembered how I did that. Oh God. Okay. So ready? Here's here's every song by Cannibal Corpse uh, lyrically laid out right now. It goes like this. Dot 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 da 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 dot dot dot. That's that's every fucking song they play. <laughs> like he just does his lows in one of three patterns, and then ends almost every other fucking verse with. Uh, like a like a rumble into a fucking high that's not a word. Yeah. And like it got to the point where like I was mocking him and doing it before he did. Like, and then just, I would point when I knew he was gonna fucking do it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know. So he's oh man. Personally, I love Animal Corpse. I can I'm see why people like have, him, but fuck but not me. Well, he's a he's a hardcore kid at heart. <laughs> yeah. Right. So. Yeah, like right. he's not. I think this was his first like legitimate like death metal show, with the exception of Parm's Way openings. Um. Uh. I'm trying to think. It's like everything we've seen was at least like death core. Yeah. And, like, hardcore and stuff like, like that. that's. I don't mind that. That's. It's kind of in between. It's yeah. fine. Um. I feel like there was one other one, and I had the same kind of feelings on it. I'm trying I to forget what it was. Yeah, this, I'm talking like millenniums ago. Oh, no, I mean, like there was a show where we went and you were just kind of mad for a while. Oh. I can't um, remember who it was, though. Other than Every Time I Die. There was another one that you just didn't care for. I forget yeah, who it was. Yeah, no, I, I know what you mean. I can't. There's just some times where, like, 
just like one person in the band fucking throws me off so bad that <laughs> I was just not done for it. Harm's Way fucking killed it tonight. Yeah, Harm's Way was like. Oh, Rick missed him completely. Because he went, he went upstairs and uh, was up by the funhouse stage and he was talking to another friend of ours. And uh, he got to talking to him and completely missed him. I don't, I don't know. I feel like it was. <laughs> I, don't know if that was on, I don't know if that was on purpose or not. but Because yeah. he's not really a hardcore guy. Feels, feels kind of avoided the man. Yeah. Story of the night. This dude that we see at fucking shows all the time. He, he starts off all right, and then he gets drunk, and he gets fucking annoyed. Like, he sits there and, like, pushes everybody back and, like, tries to stop people from hitting, and, like, only to do it at certain times. Like, I don't fuck he's doing. Whatever. Yeah, it's well, like he, he tries to, like, get a wall of death going for, like, every Every song. time. Yeah. When, he, when he gets drunk, that's all he does is, like, he tries to stop people. And push people back. And push back. people back so that they do a wall of death for every song. And yeah. it never, never once has it worked so far. Not even a little bit. So, he's fucking doing his shit. And you can tell that people are getting annoyed with it. As every time we see him in a show. And, uh, he was trying to go a little nutty for uh, for a Cannibal Corpse song, and he hit the ground and smacked his head and knocked himself the fuck out. Yeah. Like, and then he woke up whenever we were pulling him up off the ground, and the first thing he did is just fucking put on metal horns. He's just like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yeah. He made like the Tim the Tool Man Taylor noise when he got up. It was up. fucking great. <laughs> it was fucking great. Just, he's just like, ah. And then there was two two drunk girls that were like duking it out in the pit for uh, 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 Haiti. No, I think I won't. What the fuck? What? The truck's over the fucking barrier. Dude. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. I hope I did get that on camera. Whoa. I tried to, but damn. That truck, was, the truck was like in half and it was over the barrier. What the fuck? Damn. What the shit did I just see? <laughs> that was like, that was like physically impossible. Whoa, how, like, the, how the fuck did he get over there? I don't have any idea. That's like what mind blowing to fuck? see. I'll have to look at the footage later and see if I actually. I really hope that you did because that was crazy. That dude's flashed his lights. So pull, pull this down. What's this? Uh... Yeah, flashing his lights because we had the lights sitting up on the dashboard. Yeah, I don't think it's that. I think it's because that accident. Or it could be, yeah. Maybe, but keep it down here for a few minutes. Yeah, I saw him flick his headlights about six fucking times. So yeah. I figured he's doing that for some reason. Who knows? People are idiots. But anyway, back to my story. <laughs> These two girls were fighting, and the the one girl, um, it seemed like she was like trying to crowd kill or something during Hate Eternal. Like she was she was drunk. And she was like um, spin kicking and stuff like that in the middle of like a push pit, which is you, it's something you don't do. I mean, on and, occasion, uh, if someone starts shitting, some people move like, or people like crowd you, they yeah. just kind of like move the fuck back. But yeah. like, she was literally just throwing her legs up in the air and fucking like waving her head fucking side to side. Yeah. Like, you could tell but she it was, was really she, she was she was pretty messed up. Yeah. But, but what happened she, was she like bumped that girl. Yeah, she accidentally kicked that other. And chick. that girl was like, "Hey, like push her over, like be fucking careful." And then the drunk girl was like, "Push me, bitch!" And yeah. like kept going at her, and she went at her like nine fucking times. And at yeah. one point, not as drunk girl was like, "Listen, In stop." Miles, exit left onto US twenty two east toward Marysville. Okay. Um, Thank you, Siri. Yeah, not not so drunk girl's like, listen, we're done. Like, stop so we don't get fucking thrown out. Yeah. And uh, drunk girl goes at her again. So not so drunk girl put her on the fucking floor and beat her fucking head in. And that's the part where we got to realize that she was wearing a leather skirt and no panties. So, like, her just vagina's just hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was different. Is that guy gone? Yeah, he is. So, yeah, that... Did not expect to see a full-blown spread vagina at a cannibal corpse show. Yeah. Not, uh... I thought it was pretty funny, though, because, like, the one that, that, she, the, one that the girl kept messing with just, like, laid her out. And Every fucking time, dude. It was, like, like he said, like, nine times in a row. Ridiculous. She just kept coming after her. And I'm like, Jesus, God. Yeah, she'd, like, try and grab her by the hair and, like, pull her down, and then the other girl just, like, punched her one fucking once and, like, threw her on the ground every yeah. time. Just like get off me, you know, stop your shit. Yeah. 
She just kept fucking doing it. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, other than that, like, it seemed like the crowd was, like, really chill at this one, though. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, it got wild for Cannibal Corpse, but that's, like, to be expected. But, like, there was no, like, other than that, there was no fights or no, no, no clashing with the hardcore and death metal people because there was, um, Harm's Way is more, like, out of place for, uh, for that shit. For that kind of show because it was Hate Eternal and Cannibal, Cannibal Cor Corpse who are two death metal bands. So I figured there was going to be like a fight or two from like the hardcore kids getting cocky with the death metal crowd because they never really do mix. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so. No, they were pretty fucking cool because during uh, a song that I can't remember the name of because I'm incredibly tired, um, this dude, he was like, he's like, yeah, man, I'll come in here with my jean jacket and fuck around a little bit and then he walked behind me and I must have hit him about three fucking times and he kept coming I was like what is this fucking guy doing so like I just kept hitting him because yeah. I wasn't moving and then he just kind of like got out of the way whenever he came over and he's like hey man sorry and I was just like oh you're good <laughs> like, yeah. like I just thought you were being an asshole he wasn't doing it intentionally he was because there, there was spinning like around. <laughs> yeah because there was like a there was like a hardcore dance sort of pit for Arm's Way yeah, and that we participated in some and uh this other guy was he looked like a thrasher like he had like the uh, battle ba battle vest jacket and yeah, the patches yeah. and stuff and he was trying to to turn it into a push pit so because i don't know if he knew you know what to do with the other sort of style of moshing it really but seemed he, like he just wanted to yeah join he just wanted to join to in but he kept like accidentally almost knocking people over by doing so and he was a little bit lit himself so so he got smacked up a little bit and he was just like oh yeah. So I should move. Yeah. <laughs> and we were good. Yeah, like there was no issues. Yeah, and so I actually talked to another guy when I was out doing my coat. And he's like, and I was just like, yeah, man, uh, I had to take my sweatshirt off during harm's way. I got too warm. He's like, how were they? I was like, I was like, man, they killed it. I was like, they're hardcore bands. So like, you know, we got to throw some fists. So we're a little out of place in here, but it was great. He's like, listen, no matter how you express yourself in a concert, music's music. I was like, you're yeah. fucking great. Exactly. <laughs> so. And we're pulling up to a Sheets right now, so uh, should we continue this after Sheets or should yeah, we? Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. I kind of just want to grab some shit and eat, so. Yeah, so I think we'll probably just end in here. Uh, yeah, if you guys made it this far into the video, uh, it's been a long day. There's a lot of footage for me to put together. Yeah, thank you guys for watching this far into the video and supporting these stupid little travel vlogs that we're doing. Uh, this is only the second one, as I stated before, that we've done in this manner. And uh, we're probably going to do another one in a couple weeks when we go see Every Time I Die and Turnstile at the same venue. So yeah. we're going to end it here, so we will see you in the next video. Later.